Hey everyone, this is Max with MT Packs, and this is a very special video. Uh, this is going to be an opening of a Mirage booster box from Magic the Gathering. Uh, this uh, set was released in October 1996 and is one of the uh, sets that contains reserved list cards. Uh, these are cards that uh, Wizards has... Uh, promise not to reprint exactly in their art and, and their uh, uh, effects. And so, um, uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so this is a very special opening. Um, these are very expensive boxes, but, you know, one thing on my channel that I would like to do is uh, record an opening of each reserve list box. And, and there are quite a few, um, but, you know, they're old and um, a little bit pricey. Uh, some of them are very pricey. Some of them are 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 still expensive, but not not too bad. Um, but uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, I'm going to be opening up this box. I purchased it on eBay. Uh, found a, a very good price. Uh, I I shot a best offer to a seller, and they accepted it. Um, so I was a little surprised because uh, it was it was considerably lower than any of the uh, listed booster boxes. Um, of Mirage for sale. So I'm a little nervous. I hope this isn't a resealed box. Um, but, uh, you know, this is why, you know, I strongly advise others to open your packages uh, on camera. That way, if there's any funny business going on, you have it recorded. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So this is exactly uh, the box and how I received it. And you know, I'll block out the uh, seller's information and, and my personal information. Um, so let's get into it and uh, let's see if this box is legit. And if it is, let's uh, go ahead and get into it. And this is gonna be a longer video. I'm gonna take my time because it is so special um, and uh, enjoy the artwork and enjoy a piece of history. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Yeah, so here's the box. Um, these boxes always look smaller in person than they do online. Uh, never get over that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and check to see if this is legit. Um, you know, I'm not an expert by any means, but I kind of know what to look for. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you got this circle seal. So the circle seal box made in Belgium. Um, there's this little piece off hanging off here, but if you can see, it's actually uh, just, just um, there's no opening from what I can tell there. You know, that, that corner is still sealed. So that's, that's good. Um, another circle seal. The seam is all sealed and legit. Um, not sure what this logo is. If anyone knows, um, let me know what that is because I'm not quite sure. Uh, so some of these boxes you'll see that have the Wizards of the Coast um, logo on the shrink wrap um so this one doesn't have that but it's okay because i've seen others that don't have that either they have this this uh this black logo so anyway so this looks all legit to me definitely looks like an old box um that's good it's you know yellowed a little bit i can see tell the cardboard's yellowed um you know so this this looks pretty good to me it looks you know sealed uh no i mean there's like there's a little bit of a um um, box damage, I, I, I should say. It's not, it's not that bad though. It's just, you know, it's just creased a little bit. Um, let's see if, uh, let's peek, let's peek in here and see if we can see any of the packs. 
just from uh, just from looking in here. And I do see, you can see, I don't know if you're gonna catch it on camera, but there are, I do see some gold, some gold packs, so that's a good sign. Um, let me see if I can even, uh, doesn't look like I'm able to, to um, completely look in, but what I'm seeing looks pretty good. And I think it checks out. I think this is legit. So let's uh, let's get into it. The plastic is um, you know faded and, and old, so that's also a very good sign. Okay, pretty cool. Does this pop out even more? I think it does. Yep. Anyway, you get the point. Kind of very cool, very cool display there. I don't know if it will stand up by itself, but there we go. Very cool. All right, so you're not going to be able to see the top, but, you know, pretty cool presentation. There are five uh, artworks on the pack. Let's see if I can show you them. Here's four. Yep, here's five. So let's do that. So here are the, uh, here are the five artworks. All right. So looks pretty legit to me. Crispy, uh, crispy packs. So let's go ahead and, and get into it. This looks really cool. Um, all right, it'll be right there. I'll use a piece of paper here. So, all right, first pack in. Let's get into it. I should mention that um, there are 83 reserve list cards uh, in total that we're looking for. Not all of them are, are expensive or anything. In fact, there are only a few that are quite expensive. Um, and so, you know, LED, Lion's Eye Diamond, Phyrexian, Dreadnought. Um, Shallow Grave is a respectable, like 50 bucks, according to TCG Player. All these prices are TCG Player. And I'll try to put um, any cards that are above, let's say, $2.00. I will put their value um, in the video as we pull them. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and get into it. And um, there are 350 cards total um, in the set and uh, 83 reserve lists, like I said. And I think, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, let's see. it's gonna take me a little bit to figure out how to open these packs. Okay. And this is the first time I've ever opened Mirage, uh, a Mirage booster box. I have, I have opened packs um, that I've bought off online, but I've never opened a booster box. So this is very, very special. I'm gonna savor this um, for sure. So, and I gotta figure out what the, um, what the order is on these. So centering looks pretty good on at least the commons. So that's that's a good sign. All right, Phyrexian Vault. Unerring Sling. Mystical Tutor. That's a good one.
sound web. Viashino Warrior. And I'm gonna mispronounce some of these cards, guys, so excuse, excuse that. Um, I have not seen every card in this set, so. Serene Heart. Cloak of Invisibility. Grave Servitude. The artwork on these are amazing, really. Nothing like old uh, vintage Magic the Gathering artwork. It's so good. Pacifism. Stone Rain. Stalking Tiger. Sea Scryer. Dirtwater Wraith. Ivory Charm. Oh, one more. Ivory Charm. I wonder if that's the rare. And Dwarven Nomad. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. And I uh, just want to make sure I'm getting, getting the order on these correct. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, that is not the rare. That is a common, and so is Dwarven Nomad. So uh, Mystical Tutor is an uncommon. So I actually don't know which one of those was the rare, um, but let's continue and I'll hopefully figure it out. Elixir of Vitality. Roots of Life. Floodplain. Brushwag. Ikundu Griffin. Another Viashina Warrior, so I'm pretty sure that's a common. I've already seen that. Same with Serene Heart. Teferi's Drake. Breath Stealer. Cloak of Invisibility. We've seen that too. Grave Servitude. We've seen that. Pacifism. We've seen that. Builder's Bane. Okay. And Armor of Thorns. One more, and Stone Rain, okay. Okay, so I have a feeling it's, it's in the, the rare is in the front. Favorable Destiny. So that is an uncommon. Talim Tors Darts. It's also an uncommon. Illumination is the uncommon, so this must be the rare. So it must be three uncommon, then the rare, and then common, and then uh, commons. Oh, that is a big one. Whoo, Phyrexian Dreadnought Pack Fresh. Bang. Guys, 
That's incredible. There's a little whitening on the uh, top edge. So even though this is pack fresh, it may not get a, a PSA 10. But wow, guys, huge card here. I'm gonna sleeve that one up immediately. Let's go. Well, that's huge. And it looks pretty well centered. Um, just a little whitening on that corner there. It's a little, little top bottom, um, but centering's not bad. It really is not that bad. There's just, yeah, there's just a touch of whitening on the corners, the bottom right and top left. How's the back look? Back also has a little, actually, print dot right there. So that's actually a print dot. That's not anything on the card. So that's unfortunate. And then, uh, and then some whitening on the edges a little bit. But it just goes to show you that you know even a pack fresh card is not, um, you know, it's not a ten. It's not a perfect ten. So, but I'm very happy we pulled that because it's not guaranteed we get one of these. Um, and uh, that's that's the second biggest card in the set. So huge huge hit. Awesome, and early on in the box, that's that's a great sign. All right, so now we know what the order is. Um, let's let's continue here. I'll kind of speed this up um, as we go through, just so it doesn't take forever. Dream Cash, Urborg Panther, Disenchant, Incinerate. Rampant Growth, it's a good card. Dream Fighter, Sulking Ghost, Wall of Resistance, Chaos Charm, Sabertooth Cobra, and Kuke Kukemsa Serpent. Kuke Misa Serpent. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> All right. 36 uh, packs, 15 uh, cards per pack. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Matin Efreet, Prismatic Boon. I like these old gold um, cards, they look really cool. Coral Fighters and Shallow Grave. All right, so this is the third, this is the third most expensive card in the set. So we've already got number two and number three. Let's uh let's also sleeve that up. So far so good. This card is a little off center as well, I can tell. But uh pack fresh. A little off center right to left. Corners look good though. Just the centering. Nice. Pack Fresh Shallow Grave. Awesome artwork. You know, while I'm at it, I'll probably sleeve up this Mystical Tutor as well. It's also a little off center. And a good way to tell if it's off center is you turn upside down. Look how off center, right to left, that, or you know, left to right. So awesome. 
All right, some of these we've seen before, so I'll kind of go quickly through them. Kukemsa Serpent. Kukemsa Serpent, that's probably what it is. Regeneration, awesome artwork. Agility. Ray of Command. Wall of Corpses. Femerith Healer, Dark Banishing, Armorer Guildmage, Tenda Lion, and Merfolk Raiders, and Jungle Worm. All right. Savage Twister. Nocturnal Raid. Unyaro Griffin. Unyaro Griffin. Chaos Fear. I think that's that's a good one. Um, pretty sure that's a pretty good one. Um, also a little whitening on the top left, so maybe the rares are just a little, a little, uh, mis not miscut, but um, not as sharply cut as the others. Um, so, that's good. Let's see there. Yeah, it's about like a $6 card, not bad. Epic artwork. Teferi's Curse. Choking Sands. Ikundu Griffin. Scarring. Oh, Searing Spear Ascari. Wall of Roots. Cloak of Invisibility. Grave, Grave Bane Zombie. Femoref Scouts. Stone Rain. Sandstorm. And boomerang. Okay. Zal Firin Commander Consuming Ferocity. Fire Diamond, okay. So we get the Diamonds, Fire Diamond. Is that our rare? No, I think that's another uncommon. So we got a Fire Diamond, nice. And Zeriland of the Claw. That's another very good one that we hit. Um, yeah, that's an $11 card. That's a really good rare, awesome. Awesome, awesome. That looks really good shape, too. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up. There's a little print defect again. Um, a little print dot right there. I don't know, I can't real focus, but yeah, it's a print defect. But well centered. Um, Corners look good. Nice. Oh, there's a little staining though on the back. You see that? A little print staining right there. So yeah, I mean the print quality back then just, you know, just uh, 
wasn't it? I mean, it, you know, they definitely um, had issues with, uh, you know, staining and obviously miscut. Um, but uh, yeah, so not even packed fresh cards, again, aren't going to be perfect tens. So went in knowing that. Dark Vanishing, Armor Guild Mage, Merfolk Raiders, Jungle Worm, Dark Ritual, it's a nice Dark Ritual, pretty sweet, Goblin Tinkerer, Benevolent Unicorn, Village Elder, Binding Agony, Soar, Ritual of Steel. Guys, this is amazing. Can't believe I'm doing this. Um, this will probably be the only Mirage opening I'll ever do um, just because of the cost of these boxes. Um, so, you know, again, just really, really enjoying this. I hope you all are too. Um, and yeah, just just amazing piece of history here. So we have another diamond. This is the charcoal diamond. Okay. Mind bend. Cool art. Sealed fate. Yeah, imprint. Guys, the artwork on these cards are just <laughs> incredible. Illicit auction. Huh. Okay, I think that's our rare. Very cool. Very cool. Put that there. Flare. Uktabi Fairy. Norfolk Seer, Skulking Ghost, Bone Harvest. Wow, check out that artwork. <laughs> Prismatic Circle, Spitting Earth. Sabertooth Cobra, Goblin Elite Infantry, Regeneration, Breath Stealer. Okay. Oh, okay, right out the gate, we have Enlightened Tutor. That's a big one. Not reserve list, though. But pack fresh Enlightened Tutor. Absolutely, I'll take that. Looks to be pretty, pretty good centering, not perfect. Very nice. Yeah, centering is just, you know, a little, a tad off. Other than that, looks to be in great shape. Very, very nice. Pack Fresh and Lightened Tutor. All right, let's continue. Wind Reaper Falcon. Decomposition. Forbidden Crypt. I think is our rare. Put that here. Jewel Rails Centaur. Memory Lapse. Soul Shriek. Cool artwork. Z 
Zal Fearin Knight. Burning Shield Ascari. Gibbering Hyenas. Power Sink. Enfeeblement. Divine Offering. And Pyric Salamander. And Fog. Cool. Burning Palm Efreet. Sirocco. Femoreth Archers. And Year. Year. Crazy artwork there. Yeah, it's our rare. Year rare. Rare year. Burning Shield Ascari. Gibbering Hyenas. Feeblement. Starting to see a pattern here. Divine Offering. Fog, Bay Falcon, Granger Guildmage, As Azimite, Az Azimite Drake, Azimite Drake, Ebony Charm. There we go. There's some box art action for you. Very cool. Femoreth Knight and Goblin Elite Infantry. Okay. Carevex Purge. Oh boy. Suk Sukata Firewalker. Yeah. That's how you say it. Sukata Firewalker. Zombie Mob. Psychic Transfer. It's the rare. Chaos Charm, Civic Guild Mage, Kyrian Elves, Power Sink, Cadaverous Knight, Cadaverous Knight, Reality Ripple, Tenda Herder, Pyrrhic Salamander, Disempower, Caverix Torch, Caravix Torch, and Granger Gilmage.
Unyaro Beasting. Sealed Fate. I feel like that's like our third one. Tenda Griffin. Tlim Tor. It's our rare. Incinerate. Rampant Growth. Flare. Uptabi Fairy. Morfolk Seer. Skulking Ghost. Wall of Resistance. Bone Harvest with that incredible artwork again. Prismatic Circle. Spitting Earth. Sabertooth Cobra. Oh, some more pack art. Jungle Troll. Vigilant Martyr. Chariot of the Sun. Parage of Urborg. That is reserve list. Not very expensive though. Seeding, seedling Charm. Merfolk Seer. Skulking Ghost. Wall of Resistance. Chaos Charm. Civic Guild Mage. Spitting Earth. Sabertooth Cobra. Kukemsa Serpent. Cadaverous Knight. And Reality Ripple. Uh oh, <laughs> I think that was just commons. All right, so Blighted Shaman. Lead Golem. Flame Elemental. Sawback Menticore. Pretty wild art. Armor of Thorns, Morfolk Raiders, Feral Shadow, Healing Salve, Goblin Tinkerer, Crash of Rhinos, Shaper Guild Mage, Binding Agony, Alarum, Uh, Taurum, Taurum Minotaur, Giant Mantis. So some new commons there. Soul Rend. Blinding Light, uh, Basalt Golem, and Early Harvest is the rare. Okay. 
Power Sync, Feeble Mint, Divine Offering, Matenda Herder, Pyrex Salamander, Fog, Bay Falcon, Granger Guildmage, and Azamayat Drake, and Ebony Charm, box art, and Akundu Griffin. So, as I mentioned, Mirage, uh, yeah, Mirage came out uh, October 96, but it was part of the Mirage block. It was the first block, uh, three set block that Magic uh, did. And so it was Visions and Weatherlight, which came after this. So it was Mirage, Visions, Weatherlight, and makes the, up the Mirage block. So I hope to um, open those in the future as well. Savage Twister, Nocturnal Raid. Unayo Griffin, I think it's the same order as another pack we just had. Flash, okay. Flash. So rare. More folks here. Sculpting Ghost. Wall of Resistance. Prismatic Circle. Splitting Earth. Sabertooth Cobra, Kukemsa Serpent, Regeneration, Agility, Ray of Command, and Femorif Healer. I wonder if you can get, um, the same rares um, in a box. I don't comment below if you've ever seen people have two of the same rares in one of these old boxes, um, especially Mirage. Zebra Unicorn, that's cool art. Kind of like that. Roots of Life. Dwarven Miner, just hanging out. And Bazaar of Wonders, that's a nice hit. I think this was a speculative card during the uh, pandemic. Maybe I'm confusing it with someone else, but Bazaar of Wonders is the rare. Jolt. Fetid Horror. Alarum. Teremko Griffin, Blistering Barrier, <laughs> cool art, Tranquil Domain, Dreams Cash, Sandbar Crocodile, Sewer Rats, Ward of Lights, And incinerate. Another diamond, marble diamond. Kirvix Hex, Blighted Shaman, Volcanic Dragon with the print error, print dot error. Volcanic Dragon, okay. Searing Spear Asgard. Wall of Roots, Sapphire Charm, 
Gravebane Zombie, Ephemera Scouts, Can Do Cyclops. Check that out. <laughs> uh, funny. Robert Bliss's artwork is is so cool. Uh, it's so different. Um, Sandstorm. Boomerang. Shadow Guild Mage. Noble Elephant. Lightning Reflexes. That's it. Bad River. Land. Cinder Cloud. Another diamond, Moss Diamond. Kind of making the collection here. And Political Trickery. That's a pretty good hit. That's a good hit. Um, it's a interesting card. Um, choose target land you control and target land and op opponent controls. Exchange control of those lands. So definitely can see uh, some shenanigans with that. Um, Very cool. I'll sleeve that up. All right, Choking Sands. Searing Spear Ascari. Wall of Roots. Grave Bane Zombie. Femra Scouts, Sandstorm, Boomerang, Noble Elephant, Lightning Reflexes, Memory Lapse, and Soul Shriek. Mind Harness, Dread Spectre, <laughs> that face, that might be the, uh, the, um, thumbnail. Mountain Valley, is that, uh, yeah, I think that's our last uncommon. All right, is this gonna focus now? Focus. There we go. And Zuberi Golden Feather. I think that's like a $4 rare. Fire breathing. Thirst. All right, now this is one of the best artworks, I think. It's so good. Um, whoever did this, uh, Roger Ropp. It's just like so detailed. Very cool. That's one of my favorite uh, commons. Shadow Gilmage. Disenchant, Restless Dead, Raging Spirit, Charles Centaur, Dream Fighter, Seedling Charm, Drain Life. 
and Zalfir and Knight. Okay. Metal. Locust Swarm. Crystal Golem. Popper's Cage. Fetid Horror. Alarum. Tauru Minotaur. Terempo Griffin, Blistering Barrier, Tranquil Domain, Dream Cash, Arborg Panther, Sandbar Crocodile, and Sewer Rats. Apologies if my uh, camera is not focusing uh, all the time. Ward of Light. Flame Elemental, Charcoal Diamond, Mind Bend, Canopy Dragon, to rare. Giant Mantis, Fryer Breathing, Tranquil Domain, Dream Cash. Herbora Panther, Disenchant, Restless Dead, Ward of Lights, Incinerate, Rampant Growth, and Dream Fighter. Dissipate, Meyer Shade, Sky Diamond, Torrent of Lava, Bone Harvest, uh, sorry, well, folks. Merfolk Seer, Bone Harvest, Prismatic Circle, Splitting, uh, Spitting Earth, Femerith Knight, Goblin Lead Infantry, Regeneration, Teferi's Drake, Breath Stealer, and Femerith Healer, and Builder's Bane. Radiant Essence, Coral Fighters, Goblin Soothsayer, and Telem Taurus Edict. It's a rare. Noble Elephant. Lightning Reflexes, Raging Spirit, Jarl Centaur, Memory Lapse, Soul Shriek, Drain Life, Zalfir and Knight, Burning Shield Ascari, Gibbering Hyenas, Kurian Elves. That's it. Okay, I'm kind of getting low. Low here. I think there may be. 
think this is the seventh pack left. Afterlife. Cool artwork. Haze Rider Drake. Floodgate. Warping Worm. Alarm, Talon Minotaur, Blistering Barrier. This pack is a pile of commons and uncommons getting high. Tranquil Domain, Dream Cache, Urborg, Prater, uh, Urborg Panther, Sewer Rats, Ward of Lights, Incinerate, Rampant Growth. Uktabi Fairy. Right. Yeah, I don't, are there nine, nine or six packs left. Oh, actually, I think we have 12 packs left, so still ways to go. Hope you all are enjoying this. Um, I know it's, again, a long video, but you don't open these boxes, um, you know, uh, it's not very common to open these boxes, so really enjoying it. Um, Nettle Tooth Dijun. Another Marble Diamond. Superior Numbers. Null Chamber. Just a rare. Pacifism, Builder's Bane, Stone Rain, Stalking Tiger, Ski Sea Scryer, Feral Shadow, Dirtwater Wraith, Ivory Charm, Dwarven Nomad, Crash of Rhinos, and Wild Elephant. I think it's the first time we've had one elephant. Okay. Favorable Destiny. Wildfire Emissary. Shao uh, Ku's Minion and Pearl Dragon. It's a rare. Quirion Elves. Cadaverous Knight. Reality Ripple. Tenda Herder. Wall of Corpses. Disempower, Kavirx Torch, Kervix Torch, Tenda Lion, Teferi's Curse, Choking Sands, and Dazzling Beauty. Dread to Spectre. Dude, hilarious face. Mountain Valley. Lead Golem. And Divine Retribution. Chaos Charm, Civic Guild Mage, Kyrian Elves, Power Sink, Cadaverous Knight, uh, Cadaverous Knight, Reality Ripple, Tenda Herder, uh, 
uh, Pyrex Salamander, Disempower, Caravex Torch, and Teferi's Curse. Okay. Nine packs left. Fallow Earth. Uh, Etherwell. Chariot of the Sun. Bone Mask. Okay. Bone Mask. Not familiar with that one. Dark Ritual. Dazzling Beauty. Goblin Tinkerer, Benevolent Unicorn, Village Elder, Sapphire Charm, Binding Agony, Soar, Ritual of Steel, Kendu Cyclops, Giant Mantis, Locust Swarm, Iron Tusk Elephant, here we go, another Enlightened Tutor, awesome, 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 and a Wellspring, okay, so we'll sleeve up the Enlightened Tutor. This one has a little bit of whitening on the edges, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Centering doesn't look too bad. And then the Wellspring is our rare. Stalking Tiger, Sea Squire, Feral Shadow, Healing Selves, Dirt Water Wraith, Ivory Charm, Dwarven Nomad, Crash of Rhinos, Sharper Guild, uh, Shaper Guild Mage, Wild Elephant, Jolt, that's it. Still hunting for that LED. Um, it'd be really great if we could get it, but you know, you basically have, there's there are 110 rares and there's 36 rares in a box. So, you know, it's about, you have about a third, uh, you have a 30% chance almost um, of, of pulling the Lion's Eye Diamond. So, you know, one in three boxes, basically. Uh, Manjara's Blessing. Karu Meerkat. Tidal Wave. And Asmira, Holy Avenger. Okay. Healing Self, Goblin Tinkerer, Benevolent Unicorn, Dwarven Nomad, Crash of Rhinos, Shaper Guildmage, Binding Agony, Soar, Fetid Horror, Alarm, and Tower Room Minotaur. All right, six packs left. Okay. I think this is a pretty good one. Withering Boon. Nice. Very cool artwork again, as usual. Very cool. Withering Boon. I think, that's, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to save that and put that in the rare pile. Uh, Patagia Golem. Uh, Aleatory. I think that's how you say it. And Kukusama Pirates. Kukusama Pirates. I think that's the rare. 
Wild Elephant, Jolt, Fetid Horror, Teremco Griffin. I'm going to start a new pile here. Teremco Griffin, Blistering Barrier, Tranquil Domain, Sandbar Crocodile, Sewer Rats, Word of Lights, Flare, and Uktabi Fairy. Crypt Cobra. Malesi Spirit, Rocky Tar Pit, and Shauku Endbringer. Check out that artwork. Try to get the camera to focus. Wall of Roots, Village Elder, Sapphire Charm, Grave Bane Zombie, Timurith Scouts, Ritual of Steel, Kendu Cyclops, Sandstorm, Boomerang, Thirst again with that epic artwork. Uh, sorry guys, I don't know if my camera wants to focus on the packs behind the cards. Shadow Guild Mage, okay. Nettletooth Dijin, Superior Numbers, it's kind of funny artwork, Mind Harness, Phyrexian Tribute. Armor of Thorns, Skulking Tiger, Sea Scryer, Feral Shadow, Healing Self, Ivory Charm, Dwarven, Nash, uh, Dwarven Nomad, Crash of Rhinos, Sharp, uh, Shaper, Guild Mage, I always want to say Sharper, um, Jolt, Fetid Horror. All right, I think these are it. Uh, yeah, last three packs here. Last three packs. Try to get a Lion's Eye Diamond. Goblin Scouts. Air Sats Gnomes. Volcanic Geyser, and Reparations. That's a pretty good one, I think. Nice. It's a good rare. Bay Falcon, Granger Guild Mage, Azumite Drake, Ebony Charm, Fimrith Knight, Kendu Griffin, the Ashina Warrior, Serene Heart, Teferi's Drake, Cloak of Invisibility, Grave Servitude. All right, two packs. Reign of Terror. 
Rocky Tar Pit, Haunting Apparition, and Circle of Despair. Pretty crazy artwork there. All right, Mantis, Fire Breathing, Thirst, Disenchant, Restless Dead, Raging Spirit, Dream Fighter, Seeding, Seedling Charm, Drain Life, Chaos Charm, Civic Guild Mage. All right, guys. Well, it's probably not going to be Lion's Eye Diamond. You know, you don't want them all. We did get Phyrexian Dreadnought, though. Got two Enlightened Tutors. Uh, we got... Um, Shallow Grave, so really can't complain. Really can't complain. Just an epic opening. Spatial Binding. Worldly Tutor, that's a good one. It's a good on common. Igneous Golem. Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> Miser's Cage. Da, da, da. Oh, well. And then we have Fire Breathing, Thirst, Shallow Gill Mage, Disenchant, Restless Dead, Raging Spirit, Joel Rose Centaur, Dream Fighter, Seedling Charm, Drain Life. So fear and night. And that's it, guy. Everybody. Um, yeah. So, you know, not the not the worst box for sure. Definitely not worth the worst box. Um, got a fire and dread knight and shallow grave. Two light tutors. These are by far, I think, the four best cards um, in the box. Um, but yeah, bummer. We didn't get a lion's eye diamond. Dang. Well, I guess that means we'll have to open another box, right? <laughs> no, I don't have one. Uh, but, you know, hopefully boxes continue to go down. Um, you know, they they were definitely not as high as they were during the pandemic. Um, so, you know, I mean, really, really have come down. Like, we're talking 50 60% in some cases. Um, but, yeah, you know, we got got some four big ones. We got, um, got a lot of these, you know, a lot of these rares, some of which are, you know, $5, $5 $10 cards. Um so, you know, I'll go through them and, um, you know, might even grade the ones that are maybe $10 plus. Uh, kind of depends uh, what their condition is like. But, you know, um, might do a little experiment too. And, you know, with all the cards that I decide to submit, um, you know, I'll, I'll grade. And uh, and we can kind of see, you know, what, what can you expect from pack fresh cards from this, uh, from this age, from 1996. Um, and so, you know, definitely not going to be tens. Definitely not going to be nine fives. And some may even be eights or or lower. But uh, yeah, just kind of you know, you kind of just uh, roll the dice and um, and uh, see what you get. And unfortunately, we did not get a lion's eye diamond. That's kind of a it's a big bummer because that's by far and away the most expensive card in the set. Um, it really helps us make up our money on this box. But like I said, you know, I got a really good deal on this box. So, um, you know, I feel okay about it. And again, it's just the, uh, just the experience. And, um, and uh, yeah, I appreciate you all watching. And I know, this, uh, again, st uh, sticking through this video, I'll try to edit and, and cut it as, as, uh, as short as I can. But um, yeah, so uh, really not much to say here. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, there'll be another Mirage box opening in the future since we didn't get a LED. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely will be more reserved list uh, boxes, box openings in the future if I can get good deals on them. Um, and uh, yeah, hope to do one of each. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you like these sort of uh, vintage box openings and vintage uh, magic cards. And um, yeah, more videos to come. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.